It was the most oh, devastating moment of my life. It was, it was terrible and I couldn't believe it. From, I worked so hard to be Miss Great Britain and it meant the absolute world to me. It really, really did. Um, and to have something stripped away from you that meant the world to you is, mm. is awful. What I can't understand, you went on the show called The Love Island and, and normally yeah. that's known for single people go on there, yeah. they have a love, but they didn't mind you doing that show. Exactly. They, they did a total written consent um, to ITV, to my agents, everybody saying we fully support Zara going on the show. Um, so yeah. it's purely but, but physical they, but they didn't expect you to do what you did. I never expected to do what I did. So in, how come fair. you did? Do you know what? Alcohol in in the moment. I'm a 20 year old girl and I made a mistake. No. <laughs> I made a mistake and I've held my hands up and I'm living with the consequences right now. But well, did you did you not at at one point consider that you would lose that title because you are supposed to be a role model for young girls out there? Do you know what? I'm a massive lightweight and uh, I can't drink champagne and. There was too but much that's alcohol not, involved. But that's not an excuse. What I'm asking you is, well, did, you not, did you not think at the time, I've just got that wonderful title, therefore I must hold myself back? I won Miss Great Britain in September and been in the villa. Uh, when you're on a sort of reality TV show, no contact with the outside world, it's very hard and you don't see the cameras. There's no cameramen there. I was in the hideaway, so it was very private. It wasn't in front of everybody. Um, did you just forget? You totally forget. Like I said, it was in the moment. And it yeah, happened. But Zara, can, you do, you know, you did sign the terms and conditions. But there's nothing of, in the contract that says. No, but it says you can't bring it into disrepute. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, you know, it's not that you had sex on TV, but when you have a crown like that, that has the kind of history and the heritage that that has, whether you agree with beauty pageants or not, you know, is irrelevant. But this is something that you know a lot of people would consider as a sort of prestigious thing to have. Yeah, so I if agree. you behave like that, I think you just have to accept fair enough if they take it away from you. I sort of disagree because Miss Great Britain really promote themselves and pride themselves as a modern day beauty pageant. We're living in 2016 now. We're not in 1950. not modern day. That's got nothing Come to do with being in 1950. Yeah. It's to do with respect for you, yourself, yeah. your family. Mm -hmm. Which I agree watching. on. Watching. I totally agree on. And if somebody said, do I agree with sex on mm. TV? No, I don't. Okay. But right now, I know I had that title, and and if I'm totally honest, I've been the hardest working Miss Great Britain that they've ever had, and they ever ever will. We get some pretty fabulous guests here on Loose Women. There's plenty more where that came from. Just click here to watch more interviews with a whole range of famous faces, and click here to subscribe. It's free, so you'd be silly not to really. <laughs>